Hi everyone, welcome back again to Tintana. Today, we're gonna do another fountain pen review. I'm going to review the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini and compare this with my Sailor Pro Gear Slim pen. Um, I've been wanting to get the Sailor Mini version because of how tiny they are and how cute they are and I am a fan of pocket pens. I think that they are great size for me because I have smaller hands and they are handy and cute and i just love you know smaller pens i think they are short but mighty okay so let's uh see the comparison with the sailor pro gear slim okay so the the green one that you see here is a dragon palace um sailor and the uh, the uh, uh, grayish purple one that you see is the Sailor Pro Gear Slim Mini. So let's take a look at the size differences. Um, for the length of the pen for the Sailor Mini, this is about 4.25 inches. And for the Sailor Pro Gear Slim, from top to bottom, the length of the pen is maybe um, 0.25 um, uh, short of um, five inches okay now let's uh, see of course both of these are made of um, resin which is a more durable type of plastic um, both of these pens have their um, sailor branding on the cap and also on the band um, of the pen and sailor is really popular for making you know candy colored pens that are really nice to collect because they look so cute and so dainty i think that's also the reason why it's popular among you know among women you know to collect these pens because they're just fun little things okay so i am really very curious uh, because both of these pens are sailor i wanted to see whether the parts of the pens are interchangeable but one thing i noticed about the mini and the pro gear slim is although the body is more or less the same um the back the back portion of this mini is more or less you know the same size as the barrel so unlike this um pro gear slim as you can see it tapers as it ends but this one does as well but just maybe like a hairline a tiny bit not uh, not significantly unlike this uh pro gear slim uh, but when it comes to the thickness of the pen the pen is more or less the same thickness now let's take a look at whether the parts are interchangeable so let's see the cap in fact i'm going to compare uh, the size of the cap Okay, so the cap size is actually similar, okay, if not the same. As you can see, they are more or less the same size, more or less the same length, uh, which makes me think that this is going to be interchangeable. So let's just try that. I'm going to try to fit the mini cap to the slim, and it fits perfectly in the same way the slim to the mini oh look at that isn't this fun so you can actually meet um, mix and match your pens um if you have you know many different colored um sailor pens you can absolutely you know have fun with it and maybe interchange the barrel or interchange the cap or even the section i think is interchangeable so let's see if I can actually fit, you know, the barrel of the slim, okay, to this mini. Okay, let's try that. So this is the mini. I'm sorry, this is the slim. Okay, it of course has a standard um, ink, uh, sailor ink converter, and this one has the mini um, converter. Okay, so let me try fitting the body of the slim to the mini and see if that works hey you know what it actually works it actually fits perfectly 
Now, don't you think this looks fantastic? This looks really nice. So if you cap it using the original cap, okay, it matches perfectly. And that little section here, like a variation in the color, just gives it, you know, a nice accent. So you can definitely uh, play with this pens. Now, let me take a look at um, this slim. And of course, you have the body of the mini. The body of the mini will not fit because the converter is longer. But I do have an idea. If you get um, a mini converter and then uh, plug it in both of these pens, then I would imagine that the barrel will be interchangeable. So if that is the case, then you can absolutely you know, have fun uh, mixing and matching, you know, this pen, which I, right now I'm actually having fun, you know, with the possibilities of, you know, mixing and matching these different colors. Now, um, another thing that I think might work for both of these pens is if both of them have um, like a cartridge. So if you prefer uh, using a cartridge, than the converter I think if you just do that then all the parts will be interchangeable okay so definitely definitely a fun um, experience so let me just um, reassemble you know the body and also the cap all right so as mentioned both of these pens are made of uh, resin and the nib is made of 14 um, carat uh, gold nib okay and um, let's take a look at how this pen compares with other similar uh, pen of the same size so let's compare it with um, this is what it looks like uh, when compared with the pilot uh, food uh, petit food pen which is my very first um, brush pen. So when I started, you know, getting interested in calligraphy, I got this pen at a local bookstore back home. I think that was back in 2017 and it's really, really good. I don't know why nobody talks about it, but maybe I will in my other videos. So this is what it looks like. This one is also short and mighty and I think this would be a perfect beginner. You know a uh, brush pen for people who are learning calligraphy so as you can see the size is more or less the same and then here it is with the popular Caveco uh, fountain pen as you can see the Caveco is shorter but the Sailor uh, mini is maybe just a tad bit longer but even though these pens are short um, let's take a look at the size when the pen is posted. When the pen is posted, let me zoom out a little bit so you can see the entire length of the pen. So if you post this, it posts really securely, you know, and it is comfortable to hold. So even if you have larger hands, you definitely have, you know, to post um, the pen in order for you to uh, write comfortably. If you write with it unposted, well, I can still write with it unposted, but it's going to be more uncomfortable. So for better comfort, it's best that you post a cap. So this is what the pen uh, looks like, okay, uh, when you post a cap. So let's try it with the original cap. So it's the same thing if you post it the original cap as you can see this more or less like transforms into a regular size pen in fact let's compare the mini and the slim if you post um, the cap so with the cap posted let's take a look at the, the length of the pen so the length of the pen actually is more or less the same so maybe just you know a tad bit shorter so this uh, mini version is just a tad bit shorter than the slim. There is nothing so significant when it comes to the length of the pen when these pens are posted. So, um, yeah, if you are 
um, on the fence and if you're considering getting the mini and you are afraid that it's going to be too short for you well it's not because if you find that the slim is a comfortable size then you can absolutely you know make this pen uh, work for you okay so that is one advantage you know of this sailor uh, mini it is short it fits your pocket but then when you post the cap it kind of like transforms into more or less a regular size pen now let's take a look at the Caveco okay so when the Caveco is posted as you can see uh, more or less the same um, length um, it's just that it's a tad bit shorter maybe just you know nothing significant but it also has a good length you know when the cap is posted so you can never really go wrong with this pocket pens if you like you know the the fact that you can uh put this pens um in your pocket you know if you wear like polo shirts and you have like a breast pocket and it fits there perfectly then uh have no fear because these pens when you post them they more or less transform into you know a uh, a regular size pen that is nice and comfortable to hold okay so that's about uh, the comparison of the size of the pens now um, let's take a look at uh, the performance of the pen actually I like the fact that the sailor pens um, have you know a feedback unique to it so this pen is um, an excellent pen and performs really well you know out of the box okay and if you are following my videos you know that I absolutely love to um, match the color of the pen and the ink together so I, I just have fun you know trying to match the pen and the ink okay um so I'm not really gonna talk a little I'm not really going to talk more of the of of you know the build quality of the pen because a lot of people are already familiar with that. It's more of like the size comparison that I think that most people uh will consider. But for the sake of comparison, let's again take a look at both pens. So both pens have 20 have um 14 karat um gold nibs. Let me zoom that in so you can see that clearly. But there is something that I notice about the slim. So this gray one is the slim. This one, I'm sorry, this gray one is the mini. And this um, green one is the slim. So although both of these pens are made of 14 karat gold nib, I notice that, you know, the, the nib for the Pro Gear Slim is more yellow. And then the nib for this mini version is more of like a pale yellow almost like a white gold in color but they both are stamped and you can see the 14 karat 585 stamping on the nib so both of that have you know that 14 karat um gold nib okay so that's another thing that i find um, that's different between the slim version and also the mini version. Okay, so in terms of the let's let's actually compare the converter. Okay, and let's see like how tiny the mini is in comparison to um in comparison to the regular size um sailor converters. Okay, so as you can see, this is the mini version. This is the mini converter. And the mini converter does not hold a lot of ink. Okay, and this is just a regular standard, standard size um, uh, converter from Sailor. So as you can see, there is definitely a big difference, you know, in the capacity of the ink. Okay. Alright, so if you write uh, for an extended period of time and you like pocket pens, 
then I think maybe one of the disadvantages, you know, of owning the mini version is that it can uh, run of ink quickly and you would have to um, refill um, your pen with ink more frequently. Um, however, there is also an advantage to that if you are somebody like me and you like testing many different colored inks and you easily get tired of one color and you wanted to test another color then having like a mini converter would probably work for you um the challenge is if you use this for note taking and for work you know that your best bet would be just to use a cartridge so then you would know if you ran out of ink um you would have another cartridge available you can just pop it in there and you don't have to worry about, you know, the mess of cleaning your pen and then inking up your converter, you know, and stuff like that. But otherwise, you know, it depends on uh, what you use this for, okay? So now, um, let's take a look at how the pen actually writes. Actually, both of these pens write more or less the same. It has uh, that unique property, you know, common to all of the sailor pens, and that is the pencil like feedback. So, this mini version also definitely has that. So, let me zoom in and, and so you can see clearly. I'm going to write the name of the pen in here. So, this is. Sailor, okay, Pro, Gear, um, Slim, and this is the mini version, and specifically the one that I have is the medium fine um, hard nib, so it is said to be hard okay but you know what even though the sailor nibs are hard nibs i find it to be pliable you know so let me just demonstrate that to you and this one um you would see exactly what i mean um but these other sailor pens that i own they also show the same property okay so let me just show it to you so if you write with it with a with a with a um, light hand um it's not going to provide you a thick line it's going to be just you know a, a fine line so let me do a little bit of swatch here for my ink i'm going to write the name here this is robert oster okay summer storm all right so as you can see if i write fast and i can just barely you know touching the the paper um as you can see it provides me a sharp you know thin line okay so this looks really fine um to me however if you write with a heavier hand let's just say that's how you are you just tend to write heavily you would see that the um, line that you lay on the paper would be thicker okay so let's let me try to put a little bit of pressure here um so let me write um the quick brown fox here okay if i write like with a with some pressure So did you see the difference there so this is when i write with it with just you know uh, a light hand and this is when i put more pressure 
okay as i write so as you can see it does give you you know a nice thick bold crisp line so it really depends um what kind of line you'll make with this sailor pen and i think it's also the same with the with this one here okay let me try that i'm also curious i haven't um compared this to you know so let's try that so this one is also um sailor you know what i think it's the same this is pro gear let me make this bigger so you can see that okay slim all right all right well it does and then let me do a little swatch here and this ink is kwc green gold all right so yeah i think that both of these nibs write the same um let's do a little bit of pressure here as i write As you can see, the line is definitely thicker. Okay. yeah all right yep so both of these pens the both of the nibs um write you know the same um the only difference is um the size okay this one is de definitely shorter more uh, uh it fits your pocket if you like to you know put it in your breast pocket you can absolutely do that you know with this pen all right so um let me know what you guys think of this uh pocket pen from sailor do you think this is something that you would like to add to your collection please let me know and i absolutely enjoy you know my sailor pens and again thank you very much for watching if you like this video don't forget to hit like and if you would like to be notified of my other videos when i upload them please hit the subscribe button and i'll see you again next time have a good day bye